Tell me I'm lying. Call her go TV and book you some time. I've been down. Young nigga, I've been down. I've been down. Young nigga, I've been down. Yeah. I've been down. down. Only way and get it going, so I've been down. down. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this is like a path I was put on. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like on some, on some destiny type shit. <laughs> like my brother. I think, I think he probably seen me. Now let's fast forward straight to the new project. The money wins the only way. <laughs> man, what's to that shit, man? Who you got on there? You got any features or you went, you know what I'm saying, solo like you did the last project? I went solo like I did the last project, man. Like I still, you know me, like. I How many did, tracks, man? I just did the five. It's actually an EP. It's five joints on there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I got okay. one feature from an R&B singer. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to She Love Law. That's it. That's the only feature that I got on there. All the rest is still all me. You feel me? I'm still, goddamn it. Just I mean, I, I mean, I'm in that same fight, bro. But it's just like, you know, in Chicago, it, it's rough for a motherfucker coming up, especially when you hot, G. Like niggas look at you more of a threat. You know what I'm saying? They trying to hold on to what they got going on. And all of that shit. They ain't trying to clap no more. Damn, up, bro. Man. You think it's some crab in the barrel shit going on? Oh yeah. That's, that's what Chicago, bro. Chicago, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Me and my partners, we just specialize in keeping the best products, G. And that's why we get the progress that we get. And not we fucking nobody over. We still, we still hey. find our street, that's, man. That's like it's exactly. street. And that's I fuck like my Look, ain't yeah. nobody can say, can't Dillard, nobody. Rose, we don't owe nobody To this shit. day, can't nobody say we fuck them over. Nobody. And it's gonna we be that way for everybody. You straight business with everybody. Until you do some bullshit. Then you get what you need. Then you fuck yourself. Exactly. So basically, so basically, it's good to keep that good face card, huh, man? Yeah, it's the yeah, best way to live. You sleep at night, and if some bad happens to somebody, it ain't on you. Young you niggas, listen to that, man. Listen to that. Keep that face card good, man. Keep that fucking face card good, for real. Yeah. Let's talk about the artwork for the album, man. Who did that artwork for you, man? That shit look crazy. Oh, shout out to my nigga Chep. You talking about, uh, yeah, Chep do all my artwork, so he did no features, and he did the Money Way uh, artwork. Shout out to my man Chep. Y'all can check him out. Check him out on um, at Chep Media on Instagram. Or at Chuck Woods, he, he got the Cub sign as his logo. You know what I'm saying? That's the one I be hitting. Up. He gonna be hitting up his media page. But I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know that motherfucker by heart. But y'all can holler at my man at Chuck Woods on Instagram. But he do all my artwork. No lie, that shit hard, man, for real. You talk about what's your what's your favorite track from off that out from that EP, Bobby? The EP. My favorite Why? track. Uh, Low key, damn man, I ain't gonna lie, all them bitches my favorite, man. I love I, I like all them bitches even me, but the one I be I be smacking the most be that uh like low key to myself be that that already known. You know what I'm saying? That shit smack. But look though. Alright, so we're gonna talk about production, man. Who who's uh who who got some production on that album? Just the man. I mean on that E P part. All my production work from this man right here, he's gonna be able to talk to me about that. Definitely. So I, I know, I know a little something from just sitting around and shit, but they, they the niggas to talk to when it comes to that sound part. You know man, that, what was what was your angle coming with the sounds of that that project, man? I mean, as far as writing the music, you know, it was a couple guys that we got the beats from, but you know that's a, that's another thing that everybody needs to understand that production ain't just writing the music. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker make a beat and swear they're a producer. You did not produce that track. You wrote the music. This is why you get writer credits instead of production credits. It's a lot of it's, it's a lot of hot ass beats on YouTube, but I ain't gonna lie. They, they put them there so you can buy the beat from. I don't mean like my artist fuck with them. Shout out to my nigga White. Hey, damn, damn, I buy them too. So, so we buy them. Though. Yeah, I just when I listen to a beat, man, it's all about the melody, the sample of the beat, man. I gotta be able to vision my life. In. I gotta see the video while I'm writing the song, you know what I'm saying? 
like that's that's what that's how I pick my beats. Dylan, what you would what make you go, man? I gotta write as soon as you hear a beat that you know it's the one. Right now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm uh, a lot of producers, man. We be getting into it and shit. Cause I'm Hollywood as hell when it comes to the beats. Like I ain't just looking for any old type of beats. I'm looking for hits. You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, nah. But for real, for real though. Shout out to my producers that I'm rocking with right now, man. Shinobi and those beats, man. They've been feeding me some pretty hot shit. Man. Production the is the overall package. <laughs> Take the school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's gathering the engineer, gathering the place to record, get the artists, get the features, make sure the engineer uh, get the beats, uh, uh, get, the beats right. get the beats tracked out. Yeah, Who the fuck on the next of fucking right. MP3? Exactly. That's weak as fuck, your shit gonna sound off. So, you need to track like, out, buy the whole beat from the motherfucker and start stealing it off YouTube. It's a lot. Dudes and dogs. Dudes and dogs in the studio with Dave Dillon. Dudes and dogs. Let me see. My shit pretty simple, man. Shit, I just like, uh, let me see. Man. <laughs> just don't worry no bullshit in the studio, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause then here we trying to be, everybody want to keep a positive man. We trying to try to be creative. Be creative man, so we, you need a positive vibe around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's like, when, when you come in this motherfucker, it's like, ah, right, yeah, we at the studio. Like, everybody get that shit. Like, it's, it's something about the studio. Motherfuckers, even motherfuckers that don't rap want to go to the studio just to hang out, see what's going on, see how the shit work. It's just something about this motherfucker, like, so I just like that positive vibe shit, all that bullshit. You know, motherfucking crazy shit, leave that shit outside. Alright. Alright, what's up? Tell me a little bit more of what you got going on, man. I've been seeing, like, I've been scrolling on your page on IG. Shout your IG out one time, big dog. Oh, yeah, y'all can catch me on IG at, uh, at DameDilla74, all together one word. You know what I'm saying? At D A M E D I L L A 74 on Instagram. Uh, yeah man. Yeah, we've been busting a lot of moves uh, for uh, 2018. Man, 2018 we did we did a lot of shit big, man. We opened up for every major artist that came through Chicago. Talk about that shit, man. What that shit like? Who was the who was the artist and who was the the, the illest to work with, man? Man, we work with so many motherfuckers. All that all that shit was ill. You know what? Coming from the level we came from, all them shits was ill. You know what I'm saying? We did. Uh, What's the most memorable? Most memorable, I think it was that Cam Ryan joke. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Killer Cam. Ryan. He was just here on Weed Street. Look, the niggas just, were singing. Just, look, the crowd was singing my shit. By that, by that time, by the time we did Cam Ryan, niggas was used to hearing my music. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had already had like so much of a nice little buzz that the motherfuckers that was coming to the concert, we was promoting. They was knowing was gonna be there and the music that we was performing because they was looking at our shit. Right. While we was motherfucking promoting it. So they was liking that shit. So they was coming to the man. So what about Project Pet? Camera was a memorable show too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what, what he said. said. That's what he said. That's what he said. Because they were seeing our shit. Yeah. They were seeing our Alright, so. And Juvenile. Juvenile. The whole time. Oh, All my man. shit was lit. Juvenile. Man. I opened up for every Look, man, I opened up for Cardi B. G Herbo twice, multinational. I'm talking about in different states. Juvenile, Project Pat, multinational, different states. Boosie, Boosie, Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh, so Lil Dirt, Lil Dirt, Lil Dirt, so Kirko, Kirko Bang, uh, Snow the Product, Ace Boogie with the hoodie. That shit was some Yellow Beezy, OJ the Juice Man. I opened up for Gucci Man and Red Diamond. I don't know if everybody came to Chicago last year. Yeah. Hey, definitely. Oh, I'm just saying, hey, hey, I see your Instagram. That should be lit, bro, for like, niggas who ain't lit. For niggas who ain't lit. I ain't even like my own shows that sold out venues. Shout out to the factory. Shout out to Red Down. I did shows that sold out venues on, on the nights where, where I was on the flight from, from, from me and my team's promotion. Shout out to Rose Gold Music. Shout out to White Ass Rose. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Crammy Two Times. Two times. Motherfuckers know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rose Gold Music. Shout out to White Ass. Shout out to Crammy Two Times. Two times. Hey, but look, though. facts. Now look, verifiable fact. Verifi you just said the fact. Another thing I seen on your IG is like you uh posted like industry night or something with uh with the factory, and I also yeah. see you got a fly right now with Red Nine. Yeah, I'm doing um I'm doing industry night at both of them. At, at, at industry night at the factory and industry night at Red Nine. Shout out to my partner Rose Gold. You know what I'm saying? We came up with the idea to give some of the artists that we're working with. Yeah, yeah. there's a chance. Yeah, yeah, nah, it's, it's, it's real. Right, yeah, let me, 
that's what I was gonna say, Roseville. What was your angle on that, man? Man, that shit real. Like, I, I looked at it like a, a, a chance to get somebody that's good, who I never ran into. A chance, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if you good, instead of going with the regular shit that's exactly. going on, even if you don't uh, running with the garbage nigga with money, you know what I'm saying? If you good and you perform, whether you, you win or not, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got your answer. So, sometimes the you know network possibility. Exactly. It's all about the whole network. Guess what? We be there. We be networking once a week. We actually the nigga. We ain't acting Hollywood with nigga. We where we at? Niggas hit me up in my DM personally getting booked for these events. I ain't like Hollywood with him, come on. We ain't trying to do this. We make sure they get their money worth it. Talk about the Empire. You know that Empire, man. Let's go. Yeah, man. Empire, the Shy. The Shy season two. Man, Showtime got me on some new shit, too, man. They got me on, um, what's that new shit called? Proven Innocent. Some shit I don't even know about. That shit on Showtime? Yeah, they put me for a lot of shit. Showtime and Fox. We both be fucking dang good, man. Cramped up on these white folks, man. <laughs> man, man. They let a nigga in, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know damn good if I were like, man, we, 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 we on all the streaming sites, like all the major ones too, like iTunes, Spotify, Pandora. That's, that's the lick, that's what I'm trying Everywhere to tell you. Everywhere we stand right here, that's why. Y'all gotta tell this nigga this shit. Me on them, we like ain't listening to me, man. We, we, you know what I'm saying? North Pole ENT Publishing, Rose Gold Music. That's how we bump that's the shit I'm talking about. Talk all that shit. Branding that shit. Like, mm, like it's y'all niggas getting businesses established out here. You know what I'm saying? Getting real business. You know, like real paperwork behind that shit. Like, that's what it's about now. For real like, shorty. Like, a lot of niggas that, you know, a lot of niggas that's, you know what I'm saying? No, G, think about it. It's, the, it's these shorties making for real business moves out here. Look at Chief Keith and all them, boy. Yeah. Them boys out here making for real business moves, nigga. You know they get some money because they got niggas like Johnny Dang. Look at Soldier Boy. Let's talk the Soldier Boy shit, though. Them boys talking all this shit about Soldier Boy, but that boy got paid $75 million when he was like 14 and got all that money. That's the same thing I said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas ain't like that. They ain't got all that money. A lot of niggas just try to clown. They ain't holding all this shit out the gate. Hey, look. A lot of niggas just try to clown him this time through the gate because of the last little shit or whatever. Man, that boy getting it. I don't give a fuck what they talking well, he, about. He made a lot of valid points that I actually agree with like, yeah. about, about the rap game and about what he distributed to the game. Like, a lot of these niggas wouldn't even be on YouTube or even know that you can get money off streaming your shit on YouTube if you want for Soldier Boy. He was, he was the first nigga to blow up off that shit. Off. There, like, he did there. that little motherfucking dance and shit. And he got them little kids and motherfuckers behind him and shit. And he got all them views and he said, hey, y'all owe me some money. You know what I'm saying? He figured out a way to get that money. And he showed other motherfuckers how to get it for free. Really? Free of charge. You know what I'm saying? Because he broadcast the bad thing he did. So, you know, shout out to Soldier Boy. He did. You know, he definitely, that, that, that's a claim that he could definitely stand on. He, he the reason why everybody, want, he, he one of the main reasons why Everybody wanna go viral these days. Like everybody want their shit to be broadcasted on the internet. What they doing in, in, in the privacy of their own home. He 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 was one of the founders of that web. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give him that. Put a lot of motherfuckers on. That's all yeah. for the sake, Crime. What you think about that 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 boy business plan right there? Cause I for sure think it's a business plan, bro. Yeah, he got, he got a good business plan. Man. He, he speak a lot of facts too. Bro. Yeah, but it that turned out though he did have relationships with a lot of men before they got on, so you kind of got to look hey, at that. No, like, hey. Look, when a major industry nigga acknowledge you or even acknowledge the fact that you exist, that's you need on. to pay homage yeah, to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And if he, especially if he take you and put you in the room to the side and put you in a room with motherfuckers who could potentially change your motherfucking life, hey, I, I'm finna co-sign. I ain't me being a real nigga, G. I got to get that nigga his props. I ain't finna be the nigga that. You know what I'm saying? Go against the grain as far as that type of shit is concerned. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like if a motherfucker takes time, time to say he already up here. Let's yeah. be for real. Fuck his name, the name, pool fuck you his name and all that he shit. He up here. Hey, he a young black nigga though. Right. He he wasn't no grown nigga, so he he could act stupid with you. If I was he up here. If, if, if I was if, he reached back down the artist that he reached for and then he did some folk. When he came out, ran brave and holler however he was feeling, you know what I'm saying? Okay, one one thing, you know, you, you gotta respect his mind, cause that's his that's his page, what he whatever he wanna put out on there, as long as the motherfucker ain't saying no fuck shit. But I would have been like, man, Joe, hell yeah. Matter of fact, you motherfucking right. Let's do some more shit together. Matter of fact, you right, Joe. So let me go and pay homage to the fact that you put me in the room with these people. Got me this deal, woo woo, what you mean? You wanna do a song together, woo woo, let, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, not only that, not only that. Show a motherfucking love, like on some real shit. 
Not only that, and that's the end, hey, that's the industry problem though. Like niggas don't be wanting to keep it, keep it, keep it a hundred no more. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers don't be wanting to keep it a hundred no more. Right. A lot of times, if you keep a hundred, keep it a hundred, they be worried about what the fans gonna think. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, if you just keep it a hundred though, a lot of the fans gonna be like, "Hey, I respect that shit." Cause a nigga like me, I've been like, I done went live like, man, you know what, Joe? So, but man, nigga was out here trapping, doing my thing, man. Soldier boy did take recognition of what I was doing. He flew me out. He yeah, yeah. He put me in the room with them niggas, and I got a deal because of that shit. You feel me? So shout out to Soldier boy, man. Much love that nigga. Shit. I mean, keep it a hundred. You feel me? You don't look bad when you keep it a hundred. You looking goofy when you try to go against the grain. And then, and then, you know and then the nigga present the truth on your ass. Exactly. You know, this when is nigga, yeah, when nigga got proven facts, I mean, come on, man. Like, hey, like man, I say, man. niggas just be having a problem keeping it in the hundred. Hey, like Takashi sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's speak on that. Like, yeah, it's good. I'm sitting here with some know, real I'll be there with some food shit. I'll be there with some food shit. Hold on, hold on, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Takashi 6 9 man. This nigga went from... From trolling the world, bro, to suck my dick this, tell your mama to kiss this dick that. So now the feds got his ass in a hoose guy. How y'all feel about that? How, how y'all feel about watching Takashi go through his career? Damn, they're like writing this shit off his damn self. How y'all feel about this? I, mean, I feel like everybody got their own name as far as what they do to get where they at in their career. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's like, hey, if that shit paying the bills, it's like, you know, you can't knock the hustle. Who's to say it's wrong? I said, well, who's to say it's wrong, right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If that shit feeding his kids, feeding his family, who to say? Exactly. Who to say it's wrong? But, uh, the Chicago shit, my eye, and I said, I already knew that shit before. I heard the birds chirping and shit. Uh, uh, you I'm, talking about I'm when you're a Chicago nigga, like, look, I'm one of them niggas who just play the block like all night, like 24 hours, right? Yeah, so, guess what? Now, two, three in the morning, when them birds start chirping, nigga, it's time to go in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's over with when you hear them birds start chirping and you on the block and you trapping and you ain't nobody else outside. That's every nigga in the hood. It's time to go in. You feel me? In Chicago. For in real. Chicago. Now, I ain't speaking for, you know, in, in New York or wherever you from, Brooklyn, it might be like that. When the Chicago 3, 4, yeah, 4 in the morning, yeah, when them birds start chirping, right yeah, before that sun finna crack, nigga, motherfuckers in the crib sleep or laid up with something back here. You know what I'm saying? Dodge like a fight. So, I already knew. Once I heard the birds chirping, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's but, what's 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 about that nigga? Like I say, you can't knock the hustle, though. Right, you know, he clouded up off that shit. shit. He made money off that shit. You gotta be ready for the consequences that come with it, man. You going around yeah, that's facts too. to suck your dick and all that shit, man. Yeah, that's facts, too. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know, ain't nothing like me, bad for the fuckers. Like me, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest with the type of artist that Dame Dilly is too, like for the motherfuckers that don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know it been a lot of motherfuckers be like, who this nigga with, what side he on, he in between, like how he rockin', he rockin', he fuck with some of these niggas, he fuck with some of them niggas. Like, this is why I stand in, 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 when it comes to this music shit. The street thing is a whole other thing. We ain't even gonna discuss that because, you know, how we draw anyway. Right, right. But in this music shit, this is how I draw, man. I'm, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm an outstanding member. So I ain't I ain't jumping on no niggas bandwagons or none of that shit. I ain't clout chasing or none of that shit. I'm trying to get on off off hard work and pure talent and drive and commitment. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't I ain't trying to clout up off no nigga name or no nigga beef or no nigga internet antics or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm low key trying to get in the old fashioned way. You, you know what I'm saying? And that's probably why it's taking me a little longer than usual because I don't got all the comedy shit. Right, 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 right. I'm a real street nigga, so I really don't condone all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't condone all that internet antics and putting my business out there for the internet and all that. I promote some music to y'all ass all day. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna promote that heat all fucking day. Niggas already know how we bump. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's why we come to the music shit. But as far as all the internet antics and all that shit, like, like I say, I'm a real street nigga, and I'm from Chicago, and I still live in Chicago right now. So yeah. we're already doing how we moving the ground out here. We doing what we doing, but shit, we still out here every day, so that's just what's up. Like hey, there's a lot of artists like that though. Go ahead, go know, ahead, my I man. fuck with uh, I, I, I fuck with some of everybody. Let me let me let me get let me get Crammy Two Time point of view on what's going on with the case, man. Two they, chisels. They got they got the nigga. They got the nigga on all type of kind of rackets here and, oh, and robbery, all type of shit. They got him on film, bro. Then they actually moved the nigga to uh like some type of protective custody where they say motherfuckers if they going there they they finna roll on the nigga. What you feel about that, man? Hey, what you feel about Takashi Six Nine and the moves you make? 
they they just man they 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 stupid but you know like like he said you can't knock the hustle man you gotta get it go and get it you know what i mean but like i said you gotta be prepared for the consequences that come with you right. going around telling my folks to suck your dick doing all this i mean Niggas be knowing the situations that be getting in. Blocking your money for one, because he missed out on a, a, a way bigger bag. He was getting that money, but he yeah. missed out on so much so money doing all that. that at the same, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it is what it is, but at the end of the day, you got to be prepared for the consequences to come with it, man. You out here doing dumb ass shit, you got money, and you shouldn't be out here robbing people and doing all that shit, you know what I'm talking about? But, yeah, man, you just got to be prepared, man. And, and yeah, he gonna get, I don't yeah, think he's not going to get out of this, you know what I'm saying? There's too many charges. Even, you know what I'm saying? So, so he just got to be prepared to sit down for a while and just, man, ride it out. This is what you was looking for, this is what you wanted to be a part of. When this is what you a part of, you know it's only one way, dead end. Yeah. 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 He got, he got, he got, he got the way. Hey, look, he got lucky, matter of fact. Hey, look, you know, ain't gonna look. Look. Was he him. got lucky, bro. Was was him him trying to to look. Look. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. niggas want to kill you some everywhere. So, man, that shit, hey. it's hey, only it two ways. Be, it might be a blessing. Hey, that's why I'm doing this music shit, man. Shit, I, already, I, I landed the first way jail, nigga. Next time, what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shit, that almost happened too, man. Yeah. It might be All a blessing. Right. No yes, bullshit. Man. But man, Joe, you know, crown me two times, man. I gotta get out of here, man. While well, I'm traveling, Joe, you know what I'm saying? Got my man, uh, Jigga. What the fuck, Jigga? Got, got my man, Jigga. Got my man, Jigga, all the way from Louisville. Came all the way from Louisville, you feel me? 502. Ready to drop a mixtape pretty soon. Stay in touch. I'm telling you about bless everybody. Don't trip. Everybody getting blessed. Hey. Yeah, one of the hottest young niggas <laughs> coming up out of Louisville, Kentucky, man. Yeah. Shout out to your social media. You just gave us a motherfucking feature. We great. Look me up. You feel me on Instagram. You feel me? Shout out to Crown Me and Delhi. You feel me? They gave me a chance to perform at the fact that the competition. You feel me? One of the open slot for Yellow Bees. Oh, yeah. We gonna talk about Jake. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. My bitch. Yeah. 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 And we just did the feature, y'all. Stay tuned, man, for being there. Yes, sir. Soon on all major platforms. You know what I'm saying? My man just came through. Book your boy for the feature. That's official. You know what I'm saying? First feature of 2019. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned for that. Cause that shit definitely hot. Yes, sir. Yo, crown me two times trying to get a bank roll that can't fold. Smoking the best dope, dripped up and all gold, diamond shine like the light show, man. The money way is the only way, man. That's it. That's all, man. <laughs> yeah. You know how we rock it, man. Yeah. Out there, this, bro. Yeah, love, bro. My nigga. Go TV, man. Y'all know what the fuck it is. Yeah, love, sir, man. Bro. Appreciate y'all, man. man. For real, yeah. one. All right, Jill. Yeah. Empire. Oh, yeah. Man, what the fuck you got going <laughs> on on Empire, man? Bad, G. Hey, man, I Bad. see you come, I see you run up in the joint, man. <laughs> got the mask on with the blink out, man. What what you had going on, man? Yeah, man. How's Shout the, the, how's Empire, the Empire, man. how's the Empire Shout experience, out. man? Shout out to Empire, man. I had a big role with Empire, man. They, uh, it was good, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I worked my way up to the top of that shit too. Like I started out doing a little background extra work. Like a motherfucker had put me on it. Like, gee, you an artist? You you do this, you do that, you need to do everything. Fuck it, you know. So there's opportunities that I came across actually from a family member just signed me up for some shit, and they end up accepting. So you know, I I uh, you know, I checked into it. Too, and I seen what it was about, and they paid, nigga, shit, and they paid, shit. Yeah, 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 get that money, money young shit. black niggas. So I, ain't turn, money. Yeah, I ain't turning that into my motherfucking college. So. Uh, Get that money, feed them babies, boy. But I grounded it out, though. Like I said, I did a couple episodes first. Just in the background, like a couple episodes. I know that I'm on, you can't even see me, you feel me? But motherfuckers saw my commitment. Motherfuckers that was with the staff and on the crew, they saw my commitment. Like, man, dude, keep coming back. His ass ain't even, we don't even see his ass on the show yet. Right. You feel me? Like, let, let's see what we can really put Buddy up to. Let's see what his potential really look like. You know what I'm saying? So they looked at my profile, of course, which they got. You know, they know my background, young black male, brains, tattoos, blah, blah, blah. They just put me where they felt like exactly. I fit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which straight thug. Uh, you know, uh, some straight gold. Uh, uh, gold, all you know, that type of shit, yeah. Which is with Empire, you know, I had to be careful anyway, because I ain't nigga, you know, there's Empire we talk about. So if, if the image ain't really fit, like, the type of motherfucker I was, I wouldn't even took it anyway. Right, cause you gotta be comfortable. Exactly. What you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got a whole, I got this shit going on. I, I gotta keep, you know, what I'm saying? So, stay true to who I am. So, so explain your care. What what season? What season you all? I'm on so season five. Look, that don't if know. you got on demand, you can watch my shit right now. I'm on season five, episode six. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the end scene with Terrence Howard. Look, I actually robbed Terrence Howard. I robbed Buddy off paid in full. What's the nigga name? Uh, 
What's in the Wood Harris? The nigga that played his ace on pay Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I, robbed, I robbed them in the poker game. Them, a mob boss, a couple other people that was, uh, like, they was in, like, a million dollar poker game. <coughs> and, and, uh, we robbed the poker game. But, uh, man, I think I can talk about it now because the episode was out. But right, right. Actually, Terrence Howard hired us to rob their ass, though. We let them get away, you know what I'm saying? Right. We let Chance Howard and Will Harris, they got away. Because he, he had us rob that motherfucker just in case he lost. But he actually won the poker game. He had, you know what I'm saying, the little, the little poker chips and the other little money he yeah. had. And then we robbed all the money that we let, like $4 million. So, so y'all come up in that motherfucker like the movie, like the Wild West, huh? Yeah, you can't come bust that. up in the motherfucker, huh, fool? Yeah, on, on, on like, uh, Buddy actually, uh, I say, man, I say, man, look at Dan and Dylan kicking the door in and shit, man. Yeah, yeah man, the nigga, got the, uh, <laughs> the nigga Jamal, he like, man, he, he actually, uh, he, he, he coached me on that, on that, on that, uh, character, though. Like, like, how to come in. What you mean? Shit. What you mean? What he was basically like, he was like, man, do you. Like, you ain't got to come in this motherfucker, like, you know, Navy SEAL. Like, we know where you from, you feel me? Like, couple of this bitch, how you a couple of Definitely, this bitch, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sound like he really that, wanted you to be comfortable. That episode bro. was fun to see, but it, yeah, it was fun doing that. Shout out to Empire, man. They feed you good as hell, and they put me on some other shows too, man. Y'all keep an eye out for the shot season two. I'm on there, and they got me on some new sitcom coming out on Fox. It's called <coughs> Proven Innocent. That's what I was just about to ask you. What what was you looking forward to after that experience on Empire? Fool? Basically, what I'm getting right now. More exactly. opportunities. You know what I'm saying? More opportunities, more roles where I could just get my face out a little more and get some exposure. Exactly. So y'all keep an eye out for Dame Dillard, man. You feel me? He on Empire, man. He, he, he getting paid to double cross niggas and shit, man. <laughs> you feel me? But hey, man, he doing his thing, man. So let's jump right into this, man. Let's go into some, some lightweight shit, man, man. We done got all that other shit out the way. Favorite era in hip hop, man. Favorite era from we'll say from when it started, from the '80s to. The current time right now. From the 80s to right now? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was a lot of my old shredder music from the 80s. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the 90s, bro. Yeah, that was that was that was the golden age. Why why the 90s, man? Yeah, who, who, 90s, you felt, who you felt represented the 90s well? Because in the 90s niggas was really making money, and I feel like who represented the game well from the business aspect was Jay Z man. Uh, they took it more than just getting a record deal. They they wanted a distribution. They, they wanted ownership. Hell yeah, yeah, they taught niggas how. They gave niggas the blueprint. Like niggas ain't understand like the the uh, you know the, the, the shit behind the blueprint album. That Jay, it was bigger than just the name of an album. You feel me? Like he was giving niggas the blueprint on how to if you break that shit down. Like the whole album is certain keys and elements that. Get me. I used to bump that shit a lot when I was gone before I came home, you feel me? Like, right. A lot of niggas be like, man, when you got your shit together like that? I'd be like, right, nigga, when I had my ass all that time to sit down in jail, nigga, and that's the only time, because the other day, you know, a nigga be on the move every day, you know, be feeling like you ain't really got enough time to do all this shit. But it did take me a minute to sitting down and writing and motherfucking plotting, planning, and strategizing and putting shit in motion to get this shit in order, you know what I'm saying? And, and they was one of the niggas that I, I, I really looked up to and, uh, and idolized as far as what they was doing in, in the industry. They know a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of artists a lot of artists and, a lot of artists and <laughs> companies was looking toward Rockefeller then at that time too though. So Rockefeller was making power plays and shit. You feel me? So I definitely feel that answer for real. Jay Z and Dad Dad really killed shit in the nineties, bro. For like for real. That flame, that rocker, that that logo. That shit burnt in your brain, nigga. Yeah, that's yeah. all you see. Real shit. He giving them chains to everybody. Man, I see rappers ain't even on Rockville rocking them bitches. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. that's what it is. Man, yeah. shout out Chicago Hood Radio, Go TV, man. Crown me two times, man. Trying to get a bankroll that can't fold. Smoking on good dope, dripped up in all gold, diamond shine like the light show, man. The money yeah. wears the only way, man. You know how we get it, man. They ain't dealing this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Shout out what? Love. Love, fam, on my mom. <laughs> I've been down, young nigga, I've been down. I've been down, young nigga, I've been down. Yeah.
Like four flats on the old school. Yeah. I told dudes I'ma get that back, then jump down, did the whole fool. I had hand me downs with the old shoes. Yeah. Ice cold with the nose drool. My first pistol was an old two, but I was doing hits like Pro Tools. Young nigga got plugged in by the OGs from the old school. Yeah. Nigga told don't be damn nigga. Got caught with a whole move. That was a whole move. Couple bitches broke back. Dang. I ain't tripping though, that was old news. Two shots, that's an old bruise. Still feel the pain from my old wounds. I was 14, catch a kid.